Hey guys, the Post Pig here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Doctor Who Dalek mod for Minecraft 1.6.4. Just a thing I want to say before we start, if you want to see the mod review for this mod, I have a video up on my channel. There's a link in the description and an annotation at the end of this video, so make sure to go check out that too. So anyway, let's get on to the installation. This is a super easy installation, so let's get right on to it. So, you want to go to the first link in the description that's going to take you to the forum page for the mod. So you just want to scroll down until you see downloads. Click on that and it'll take you to an AdFly page. Pretty straightforward download, not like some of the other crazy downloads that are really hard to get to. Make sure not to click on anything down there. Click skip ad after five seconds and it will start the download. Next, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description. It's going to take you to the minecraftforge.net page and in the files so then you want to find the latest 1.6.4 because this isn't for 1.7 or 1.8 because they haven't updated the mod yet so you want to go for installer this is the easiest way to do it and it'll install forge for you automatically it's pretty awesome so we're just gonna have to wait 10 seconds here and then wait five more seconds so i'm not really sure why that is but who knows so then it'll take us to the real adfly page and we'll have to wait another five seconds. Make sure never to click anything down there. That is an ad and it can install bad things on your computer. So then you want to click skip ad and you can minimize this window. <laughs> now you want to open up Finder, go to downloads, and here are the two things we just downloaded. Now I am doing this installation on a Mac, but if you're on a PC, um, I will be telling you how to do it as well. So it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So you just want to double click on the Forge installer, Mac or PC, and if it gives you the error on a Mac that says it can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer, just right click on it and press open and then it'll give you the choice and you say open. And it might ask you, it might not, and then you should see a little thing that comes up that says Java and a little window will open up. You want to install clients, not server or anything, then this path should already be right. So. Um, just make sure that your path is right. I, it'll put it in automatically. Don't mess with that. Just press OK. And then it'll download libraries and do cool stuff. And then we are finished installing Forge. Now, you want to go to Finder File and press um, New Finder Window. Or on a PC, do get just get a new window. And then, so this is how it gets a little bit different. So for Mac, you want to um, click Go hold down the alt or option key whoa and then select library now on a pc if you're on windows 7 you want to go to the start menu and in the search type in a percent then type in app data with no spaces another percent then it should take you to the roaming folder press enter and you'll go there on windows 8 you just want to go to the start menu by pressing the start button and then you want to search everything just want and then you want to search percent app data percent and you should be able to find the romance folder anyway um used on pcs you just double click on the romance folder and then just wait while well, i show this for mac so on mac you want to go to application support and then minecraft in the romance folder should be a dot minecraft folder so go into your minecraft slash dot minecraft folder and it should look the same pretty much the same files and folders PC or Mac. So what we want to do is go into the mods folder. Now, if there is not a mods folder in your Minecraft, dot Minecraft or Minecraft folder, that is okay. It's just because you haven't run Forge installed on your computer before, just create a new folder and call it mods, M-O-D-S, no caps. And then you want to double click on that. And then all you got to do is get the Dalek mod and drag it in here. And then we're pretty much done. So we can close out all these windows and run our Minecraft. Now, make sure to keep watching. There is one more step you want to do after here, because um, how Forge installs is it makes a new profile. So you have to go, you have to click on your profiles and you want to go to Forge. There should be a new, um, a new um, profile called Forge, so make sure you want to sign in. You might have to sign in again, but you just click play. And then it should load up Minecraft 1.6.4 with the Dalek Doctor Who mod installed. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is pretty much the end of the video. I'll just log in to make sure it all works. Make sure to check out me my um, mod review on this. It covers everything in this mod. There's a link in the description as well as an annotation on the screen. And now look at this. This looks... 
awesome. There's a Dalek mod server, story mode, all this amazing, awesome stuff. Make sure to check out my mod review of this, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.